Hey my dear friend, so today we will learn about how we can create a Azure dashboard. So before we go ahead and you know start creating Azure dashboard, let's talk about why even we need uh, this dashboard. What is the actual need? So let's talk about you know there are two different use cases. One, if you are a business people. Second, if you are a software architect, or maybe you are a person who monitor the applications. So if I talk about you know uh, business people, so you know that business people do not understand the code. They don't have any uh, technical knowledge. So it is possible that you know they may ask you, hey, give me one platform where I can go in and check you know how much my uh, my application is costing, right, per day or monthly or maybe in 24 hours. How my application is behaving? Is there something you know red flag that I need to worry about? or how many resources that my uh, Azure is using. For all such purpose, you can go ahead, create a dashboard and provide that dashboard to your client. That is one uh, use case. Second, if you are a software architect and there's some issues, you know, that you wanted to track the, uh, your application, you wanted to monitor, not every time you do not want to go to code or you want to engage your developers, hey, give me, you know, why this, thing is failing or what's the status of this you want there should be a dashboard for you where you can see all those reports so maybe if there is some exception you should have reports you can go in and check all those reports right so for such purpose you need a dashboard uh this is one of the article that i have created you know on a linkedin so the same link is already exist in the uh, description box you can go ahead and you know follow that as well so okay Let's go ahead and create a dashboard now. Uh, okay, so for that, let's go to portal.azure.com. Over here, you will see there's an option called dashboard. Click over this. So this is the default dashboard that Microsoft provide. Uh, we have to create our own dashboard. So you see there is an option called create. Let's create it. So there are you know default templates that you can use so let's go ahead with a custom template right and you need to put the name so you can say production error dashboard right so once you are done you have to click outside of this text box otherwise you won't be able to see the save button so since we have a button, let's save it. So how about this tile gallery? So, you know, you can choose any tile that you want as per your need. Let's, you know, create an empty dashboard so I can show you how you can, you know, add the tiles later, what you need. So let's close this window for now and save it. So this is a dashboard ready. And this dashboard that we have created private. So there are two options, you know, you can create a private dashboard or you can create a shared dashboard as well. So if you go over here, here you will see. Uh, okay, so that option is not here. Uh, I will show you uh, later on. So there are two types of dashboard. One is private dashboard, second is shared dashboard. So private dashboard is the one uh, that only this link is only, you know, accessible to you. If you share the same dashboard link to some other people who have a different account, they won't be able to access, though they are in your domain. But if it's shared, if they are in your domain, they can access your link. So let's talk about this private and you know shared more. Uh, so since this dashboard is created, but still it is there is no use of this dashboard. We have to attach some data. That means tiles. What we can do uh, since we are going to you know add uh, some logs some exception if there is any exception in your application we have to see that so you know let's attach the data here and how we can do that we can go over here we can either you can type over here application insights mm -mm. okay so here we go so we have you know uh, one application inside if you don't have you can create your one a new one but since we already have let's go ahead and uh, see you know uh, what query we can write for this once you are inside application inside click over logs so here you go you have all that windows open there are different different tables inside application inside exception pages request and your traces everything 
so let's make a query over our traces so let's say traces where star contains error occurred while fetching data for forecast and close it let's see you know if there are some records because this is my application is logging if there is an exception okay so you would go so when you see this result you know you can pin that to your dashboard on the top there is an option called pin to click over pin here you go you have as your dashboard here now you see that what we talk so there are two types of you know private or shared so since we have created a private so on the drop down you can say list of private dashboard so right now we have only two dashboard one is the microsoft existing one and this one that we have created if you wanted for shared you can go and select the shared as well but right now we don't have anything shared but if you want to create you can go ahead and create a shared dashboard as well from this window you can put the dashboard name you know you can put the subscription and the location that you wanted to store and your dashboard will be ready so that is one way okay so let's focus on our dashboard which was private uh, the name was private error dashboard so this is how we are pinning or attaching our this record to that dashboard here you go now let's open another window so i can show you how this dashboard should look now go over here click over dashboard choose your dashboard you have you know multiple dashboard like dashboard production so here we go so here you go you have that data ready so it says that your application have two errors right what type of errors you know what errors all those details we can see what was the api endpoint name right so these details are visible to you on the dashboard now maybe you know uh, along with this table uh, table format i also wanted to see the graph how we can attach that graph if you go back to your application inside there you see the option for chart as well go to chart here you go so you have this chart ready now you can pin this chart to that dashboard as well so same thing click over pin to azure dashboard and attach to our dashboard click on pin it is done let's go ahead and refresh let's see what happens here you go so we have two ties ready one is tabular form second is a uh, graph form right and it's say uh, show you the same you know uh, data what time what was the level safety level it is warning error or what and then what was the message right so if you are uh, this type of uh, person who more like to you know see the uh, <clears throat> graph data not the tabular data so you guys can go ahead and see in this format yep so <clears throat> this is how you can create a dashboard i hope it is good and clear and we had a great learning time if there is any feedback questions please put in the chat section uh, we will create another video on that thank you so much